As a software engineer that wants to open a business, the first question you ask yourself, but how the hell do I get clients? How do I get people to visit my website? How do I get paying customers? Because you already know how to create programs. You already know how to do problem solving. After all, this is what you do on your day-to-day job. So you are very good at it. But what you're missing is, How do I get those paying customers? If I create my own personal project, my own side project, how do I get people to pay for it? This is also a question that I asked myself for a long time. And recently uh, I saw a video which could present some highlights of how to do this. I have to say first that I don't have a personal project which pays me a lot of money. I did a few small things. They paid me some money, but I didn't focus on them. This was not my target. But over the time, I spent uh, much time learning and reading. So the next time I do such a thing, I know exactly what are the steps to do. What is the script? And today, or as opposed to, to the past, where I launched a few products, I got some money. Today, I have a much better plan on how to actually make it a business because there are a few phases. The phase one is where you launch a product. You put something on the air. You don't know if it will succeed or not. And maybe you don't have anyone coming to your uh, website. The second phase is where you manage to get some paying customers. This is the, the phase that I go to. The third phase is having an actual plan, an actual script, an actual marketing plan where you know how you could get people to buy your product and make it turn it into a business. And this is a whole different thing. And while to many software developers this appears like magic, it's not. It's actually very simple. And next time I'm going to do this, I'm going to follow this script. So the script I saw over a very interesting YouTube advertisement and a lot of other books that I read, they are all coming together into a few basic points. And here are the points that I want to present you for how to actually create business out of an entrepreneurship ID that you have. The few steps are this, the mindset whether it's a goal that you have, you first transform yourself into someone that can reach these goals. The second step is the niche focus, where you focus, laser focus on one thing and pick your niche. The second step is the machine, a money-making machine, where on one side you put in money and on the other side you get more money out of it. And how you communicate with customers. Let's start with uh, the niche focus. You have to pick a niche. There is the whole uh, set of life and the universe and you condense it into something smaller. Uh, the niche has to do with the skill sets that you have, what the market and what the market needs and, so, and the things you like. So it's three things. What do you like? If you want to check what you like, you can simply go to your YouTube history and see what are the things you like. If it's difficult for you to find what you like, just look at your web history, at what you're doing at your leisure time. Then when you know what you like, you can even ask other people, what do you like? If it's not obvious to you, because many times it's not obvious to us what we like. The second step is What is your skill set? This is not that important as you think, because um, we need to have some skills, but we can also advance them and improve them because the most important thing is the third item. And the third item is what do people need? Because we are laser focusing our product and our service to what people need. Because once we manage to do this, then people and clients would come to us and we won't need to look for clients. The machine is this. We need to have some kind of a machine or process and not a random process because you might find yourself in the past launching a website or launching a product and then just waiting for people to come. Okay, but you have to be laser focused on a machine that you put in some 
uh, money in, let's say one dollar, and you get on the other end ten dollars. It's like a funnel. The advertisement pl- platforms that we have, like Facebook ads and YouTube ads and Google AdWords, allow you to laser focus into a specific community. So our work is to go through the web to find the informs what do people need in the niche that we have selected and if we don't find such cases then we have to fine-tune our niche and it's okay to start with something and fine-tune it. So let's say I want to solve a problem that to people that want to build websites. So I can't you can't just create yet another website creator because if I look at Google I see those many website creators but if I find like a niche where it takes too long to create a website and I find that most people struggle with just creating a landing page then a landing page niche could be some excellent uh, solution to these people. So the solution is simple. I look for this niche and I look for the people in the forums and where they sc- struggle with it and I enter the names of the competitors and I look what do the people struggle with and I make direct contact with those people that struggle with building their websites and I ask them what is bothering you? Why, 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 why can't you build your website? And they tell me I don't have this technical ability. I need to consult with someone. It's taking me too much time. I can't find the images to put. I don't understand how this program works. You find them and you make a list and you find the exact pain points and you fine tune your niche into these uh, people. And afterwards, we have we are creating a Facebook ad or a YouTube ad. And in this ad, it's important that you put the exact problem that the person had. You don't say in the ad, I have a landing page up. Here is our new landing page up. You're saying, did it take you to, to, do you want to create a landing page in 10 seconds and you didn't make it? Okay, here is our solution. You d- focus it on the problem that the user had. Do, are you struggling with creating a landing page? All these kinds of issues that people have. Uh, do you want to pay less for landing pages? Are your landing pages not working for you? All these questions and all this struggle that people struggle with, you put this on the advertisement. And then it's like the best the best line that you could get to is reading the people's mind, reading what problem they had. So you should strike the user. He should be struck like on a, by a lightning and he does not understand how come you read his mind. And then at the end, you have a funnel. At first you had an advertisement, a user clicked it. When he clicked it, he gets to your landing page. On your landing page, you're converting this user into an email address and then you are setting up a, with him you are flipping because the user expects you to try to get him but you need to put some questions of why should we work with you and then when the user sees it it's like flipping all the flipping the the whole situation into the user trying to get to you so if when you ask for the user for the mail, he would just enter the mail. But if you like first show a survey, which tries to understand how can we help the user, the user understands that there is a real thing here and it's not just collecting uh, mails. You, you basically, when you communicate, if you are communicating with users and not just over the internet, what you need to understand is the gap. The user is today at this point and needs, needs to get to point B. He wants to have a business. He wants to have a landing page solution. So, but something is, is blocking him from, from doing this. So you need to find a solution to this problem. If you find a solution like a landing page that creates landing pages in not more than 30 seconds, then this is a great thing and you present it to the user for its creation. 
and that was all for today episode i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you next time also with deep programming deep dives and with general um, pro, uh, tips for programmers uh, who wants to, bo- to be entrepreneurs. Thank you for listening and I will see you next time.